go to here. Good afternoon all, and welcome to Saturday. Internet seems to be holding strong today, so whatever broke yesterday has had tape applied. So why don't we bounce through crystal shards for a bit? And VTuber, VTuber, Automa Tubers. Here we go. This one, I don't believe anything is fucked up, so should be fine. And the go live note if we'll go off. When it feels like it at least. Copy. Here. Here. What are you going on about, phone? Ah, girl DM. Okay, that makes sense. Dude, dude. Flusagi one? Hmm. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for later. Up, up. Let's see here. Get this going out of the way, because you're going to do it anyways. Hmm. Lottie's specialty, after all. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Let's just get comfortable, and I guess let's just get going. Saturday afternoons are usually relatively quiet until about the halfway mark anyway, so... Nothing terribly wrong with that. Now let's see here. Pretty sure I've gotten all of the shards so far, so let's see what's in Lethal Lava Land then. There we go. <laughs> Took it a second. Okay, that's fine. What? I'm assuming we'll need... Ah. Noted. I'll have to keep an eye on those. Apparently the shadows don't necessarily like popping up for me. Okay, that's fine. I'm assuming those don't give me rock, right? No, they just count as miscellaneous objects. That's all well and good. We'll probably have more than enough opportunities to get rock Kirby. Can't go up? Okay. I guess that's just the first, oh hey, please don't die section. So, what do we got here? Do you count as bomb? I don't know if he counts as bomb, actually. But fire and bomb isn't the worst combo in the world. Oh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Oh well, I believe you give us stone, but I didn't... Ugh. Sorry, Kirby. Wasn't quite in the cards this time. I need a fire, though. Mm -hmm. No, it counts as fire as well. Huh. I kind of fit... Oh. Kirby, my dude. You gotta suck just a little bit harder. It's fine, you're allowed to. No, okay. Here. I can eat you, and you also get fire. I'm going to assume that whatever I need later is not gonna need fire whatsoever. Pop. Fire and stone gives volcano. Okay, appropriate. Better for directly upwards, but not necessarily the worst thing in the world. Oh, DDD. Hey, buddy. Oh, we get to lift on him today. Okay, I'm fine with that. Ow. Sorry, DDD. I'm getting used to your controls again. And it should be okay. Ah, right. <laughs> Gotta make sure to beat down everything with you, don't I? Because you're a very strong, independent penguin, and no Kirby needs to rule over your life. Bop, bop, bop. And that looks temporary. It's not temporary. Okay. Bop. Ow. Let's see here. Where would you be hiding a secret? 
up. Let's see. Where would you be hiding something on me? I would assume somewhere in here, but I guess I'll figure it out and see. Ah. <laughs> Has that always been the case? No, it's just that one. Okay. Sneaky. Not very well designed, mind you, but sneaky. And then I'm assuming nothing on the rest of that pillar. Please don't have the power flickering on me again. <laughs> There we go. Ow. Alright, DDD. Thank you for the trip. And yeet the blob. Bye bye, ball buddy. Cool. So we still got Volcano at least for. Oh, Cutter. Sure. Give me Cutter. They've already had a Cutter Stone puzzle, so that wouldn't be it. Cutter and Fire is not too bad, just to use, so I'm fine with that. Doop -doo -doo. Then I'm just gonna avoid all of that. Oh. I would like a sandwich, please. Thank you. Nope. You feel like coming up a little bit higher? No. Okay. Well, enjoy your trip, buddy. And then your problem. That's fine. Oh. That didn't quite work. Okay. Come on, Kirby. You can also be a part of Yu-Gi-Oh! if you so choose. I'm not going to fault you for it, friend. Electric? I hope I don't need electric for something. Womp. Oh, jeez, that's a paragraph. Bop. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see here. Jude, don't think you're in the Discord. Just want to let you know that there's no... Let's see. So there's not a chance to actually worry. Be going dark. Not sure for how long. A couple days at least. A few weeks at most. Nothing bad. I don't think anything bad will. Okay. All good there, Jasper. I saw your Twitter post about you not having access to a computer for a little bit. So hopefully that just gets resolved quickly. And hopefully it's only a few days at max. But best of luck. We shall be here on your return. Nope. Mr. Birdie. Mr. Birdie needs to go away. Let's see. Not seeing any puzzle. Whop. There we go. Much better. Yeah, just take care of yourself, Jasper. All will be good. You really want me to have electric, don't you? I'll take it, but I don't know what the point of having electric here is. Dance? Did I actually need Volcano for this? Hold on. Hmm. I know I at least need fire. But what is the other color I need? Hmm. It must be rock. It has to be fire and rock. I really should have just kept that. Goddamn electric tempting me. Let's see. I don't think I can get rock here, can I? Ow. Because you count as fire too, for some reason. Let's see. Your fire, your fire. 
your fire, and you are just a bunch of angry mosquitoes. Whop. Oh, you can get rock. Cool. Alright, that wasn't too bad at least. Just need you guys to fly away. Much better. Whop. Stream lag is apparently slow. That's fine. Let's see. Do my best. Keep a short combo of not having computer till Monday. And a bit of burnout. No worries there, Jasper. Burnout is fairly important to deal with. I know that's partly something I'm kind of dealing with at the moment, so... Definitely feel the pain. Oh. Kirby, please don't die on me. This is back in the good old days when live systems were still being used. Well, yeah, take care of yourself. Grab a blanket, grab a burrito. Please do your best. Is this not what it wants? Huh. Like, I get the hula dancer, but like... Hmm. This is awkward. Can't be double fire, can it? Because all that does is phoenix. You go away. Oops. I need two of you without somehow getting fried in the process. Hopefully both of those resolve themselves around the same time, but not holding your breath. All good there. Burnout's something that isn't really easily solvable, so... If you are back by Thursday, cool. If not, oh well, take some more time. Make sure you can handle things, and you'll be okay. Do, do, do. Double fire. And Phoenix mode. It's not double fire either. Shit. Okay, I can go back here. What the hell do you want with this? Hmm. That's a bit concerning. What do you want? Mr. Pedestal. Nope. <laughs> hmm. Oops. I may as well just check it just so that way we can move on from this. Uh, Crystal Shards, Nova Star. I want a text outline of this, please, and thank you. Da da da. Nova Star walkthrough. At least I'm Neo Star. That's it, not Nova. Duh. Neo Star. Neo Star 4? The second shard is the fifth section. Despite having fire and bomb colors, you have to use an ice combo to get the shard. That's why. Okay. It's just the colors on this map will not actively show you a blue. Okay. So I need to grab an ice. Where would I grab ice? Here? Oh, this is bad. I'm just going to die immediately, aren't I? Yeah, not this stage. That stage is bad. Um, ice, 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 baby. Where in the world was ice? You are not what I'm looking for. Oh.
Duke. And of course. <laughs> uh, good timing, Kirby. You're doing your best. Now let's see here. Where's the good place to actually grab ice? You can get bomb easily from one of the boss stages. You are a no, because you're always underwater. Rockstar? Could you get ice easily in Rockstar? I don't think so. Popstar, you should be able to find it somewhere. Do, do, do. Gotta get ready for work. Sounds good, Jasper. <laughs> yep, see you later, Jasper. Best of luck with work, and best of luck with getting rid of your burnout status. Sadly, Blaine's burn heal will not quite help you in this case. You can go away, Mr. Bomb Buddy. Oops. I'll take that until I find ice. Oh. Because it shouldn't be too hard, at least. Oh, missed. How am I missing all of these? Oh, you little springy buddies with your hitboxes. Another bomb. Don't need you. I swear there's an ice in the earlier section of this, but... Where are you, Mr. Snowman? You're like a brother to me. I just need to find you. Rock. Electric. Okay, yeah, we can get ice in here. Okay, cool. You can go away, and I need to get up there. There we go. There's our ice, buddy. Don't, don't destroy it. Much better. Up. Ice and electric gives you freezer, which is fun, but no. Double ice just gives you gigantic snowflake, so also no. Ice and bomb is useless, so no. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Ah, well, I don't need anything extra, so yeah, I technically can. And I can just hold this down the entire time, huh? Okay, fair enough. If Kirby's allowed to be full of hot air at one point, he's allowed to be full of cold air at others. Sometimes he's just gotta chill. Womp. Womp. Let's see. I can't get rid of you. That's alright. You, however, I want. Womp. Perfect. <laughs> really? Okay, fine. I'll jump. Bye-bye, buddy. I'll take that. Then Adeline's fight is not here, so we can just leave. Um... Too far? Yep, too far. Eesh, that's a shame. Still, we got ice. That problem's at least solved. Well, this is also why I keep the walkthroughs handy, just for situations like this where you kind of get a little bit screwed over. Womp. Ow. Now let's see, most of what we have here is fire and ice. Fire, or ice and rock is a relatively good combo, so that might be worth grabbing. Oh god. Please don't get rid of my ice. This is such a pain to grab. Womp. Fire and ice is bad. Go away. Ah, fuck. Come on, Kerbo. You can live this. Womp. I'm glad those guys just freeze. 
is not something you would usually expect, but works. Sammy. Oh. You should be okay to do this, too. I think... Ah, Curling Rock. Okay. Curling Rock is okay. I just gotta be careful. Ow. There we go. Now, I'm fairly certain this is kind of useless for this, but... Oh. We'll make it. That's fine. Kirby's a pro curler. He doesn't have to worry about his hair because it's just naturally curly. Doo -doo -doo. Later, Mr. Fire Buddy. And hello, Mr. DDD. Let's see what we can do here. Hey. There we go. Love me a little hammer, buddy, but not when the little guys are just going to prove to be annoying about it. Up. And then... That is enough to break. Okay. Good mechanic to know. Up. And pop. Pop. There we go. And then you... Not you. Middle one I have to fully destroy. There we go. Pop. Which, that's just sneaky, but I kind of like it. Oh well. Could have been worse. Could have been hidden in, like, up there, where you're not naturally going to hit that. Pop. Much better. Now, can you please eat the Kirby? Thank you. Lovely. Alright, on we go. All of these are false messiahs. We need ice for something. Ow. Sandwich. And it is nice that Kirby at least gets to find sandwiches and volcanoes. They'll be nice and freely toasted, too, so I don't have to worry about that. Pop. Nope. Nope. Bad. Pop. And keep going, Curly Rock. You can do it. Pop. Oh. Well, that's a shame. Oops. Let's see you get up there. Pop. Oh, this is actually perfect for Curling Rock. If the physics actually followed through properly. Pop. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't really want to deal with the birdie. Pop. Doot. 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 Up you. Under you. Up you. Over you. I think I'm fine. Yep. Cool. Problem solved. Hello, one miscolored section. Ow. Also, ow. Okay. Either way, Curling Rock is secured. Hopefully, I remember why we need all of the crystal shards, but... Oh. Oh, that's not good. I got a dash button, that's fine. Ow. Oh wait, no, this is good. Not good. Very not good. Um... That should be fine. Should being the operative term. Now let's see here. Grabbing this. Thank you. You are not a fan of. <laughs> Little dune buddies can go away, please and thank you. 
Ba. Let's see here. I guess this is just a climbing section, so now regular fire is kind of useless. Needle is normally okay, but not with fire specifically. So gimme. Um... Come on. Ah, right, that's what that does. Oh. Okay, that's bad. That is supremely bad. Come on, Kirby. Make it. Da-da-da. Also, I feel like I've missed a star shard there. Oh god, yes I have. Oh no. Hmm. Wonder where I missed it. Too far? Yeah, too far. I really need to get better at the picnic launch. I missed the last one though. I'm assuming it's during that chase, but... It's in the seventh section where lava rises on the left side of the room. Okay, so it doesn't need anything super specific. Just need to find it on the left side. That's fine. We can get it. Although this ability is not fantastic for this, but I'm probably going to die to a rock anyways, so... Yep. <laughs> oh, that's about normal. That's fine, though. I was half expecting to lose the power, so let's just keep the move on. Doesn't only count as one, even though it splits into three. Okay. You can go away. And I actually managed to hit another rock with that, too. Huh. I mean, I'll take it. Bump. Hey, Mr. Fire Guy. Would love to combine you with something that was not other fire. So let's find Rock Boy. Or I could try and just wait for electricity. Because what is fire and electricity? It has been a hot minute, actually. Iron Rock is good, but... Have to double check how fire and electricity works. Oh. Bop. Oh, whoops. Oh well, no cake for us. We'll have cake later. Bop. Mm. Mm, bop. Much better. Now let's... Oh, DVD, right. Alright, Mr. Penguin. Let's see what you got. Up, up. Oh. Up, up. Nothing too wrong with that. Up. And up. Now what else can we do? Hmm. Hmm. Get you. Get rid of you. Screw all of your rocky goodness. Bop. Bop. Oh, that didn't work. And I would like to get all these, if possible. Only because I need the extra lives, apparently. Oops. Hey, Mr. Mosquito Friend. Hey, the Solace. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully the day is going all right for you so far. Uh, you just encountered us while we get to yeet Kirby into the volcano. <laughs> but how goes Saturday for you so far? Surviving, hopefully. Making sure that you're not burning to death. Since I know that's kind of a communal problem for you in the winter, I can only imagine how bad it is for you in the summer. I'm at the kitchen level? Yeah, I am. 
See, there's some fire right there. There's more fire. There's a knife. Just in the shape of a fish. You know, the classic good old knife fish. Also the lizards, because some people like eating reptiles for some reason. Pop. Also bird. Give me this. What does this do? Oh. That's actually awful. Get rid of that. Give me rock. Hmm. Power's flickering still. We're probably gonna have to worry for that throughout most of the summer, I'm starting to think. Which is not a good sign. There we go. You can go away. Yeah, because I think Kuma has a similar problem right now, where just electric grids aren't necessarily going to hold their own very well during the summer months. And there's not really much we can do about that. Whop. Oh, is that a problem in your area? Everyone using AC in the grids up to snuff? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that is the problem. Just because the summer months haven't actually started yet. But considering how hot it's been, I'm assuming a majority of people, including the elderly, have started to turn on their machines. Stealth included, just because I like to keep it relatively cold. But I'd imagine for the people who do actually have like physical health problems with this much heat, it's probably a bit too early and they haven't done their post-winter maintenance. So we'll kind of have to see how that goes. As long as the internet doesn't cut out again today, then we should be fine, but that is a concern. Pop. Oh, hello, Mr. Rock. I love this weapon, but it is a little bit too random for my liking. Let's see, this is run section? Yeah, this is run section. Alright, this should be fine. That is not fine. Oh, well. Is that something you're going to have to worry about, actually? I don't think on it, Solace. Because with you being in America, I'd imagine it being a lot bigger of a problem than in here. Oh. I can grab this one instead. It's fine. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, that's not a comfortable sound. Okay, well, I found a glitch. Uh, physics doesn't apparently like the hitbox there at all. <laughs> oh, well, it gives me a full tether. So now just that entire thing is a dangerous hitbox. Although I can't hover with that out. It's not as much of an issue in my area, just because I'm very rural. I'm doubting in energy demand is fine for grid's usual limits. Okay. Well, if it's not going to be too big of a problem, then hopefully the summer goes over relatively well for you, and you don't have to worry about that. Womp. Crap. Kirby. Up. Go up. Doot. 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 I will take a hit for that. What's more of an issue is drunks running into poles. That's sad, but true. That's sad, but very true, unfortunately. Alright, I can't hover like this. Oh, fuck. Kirby, go. Go, my lovely pink buddy. Okay. Nope. Go! Okay, I'm losing that. That's fine. That's too dangerous. Ooh. Okay. Problem averted. Didn't die. And we got the last shard. Um. Ah. Oh, God damn it. I am awful at getting those secret files. Up. All right, let's see here. So we get a boss. I'm assuming there's a little bit of upkeep. No, it's just straight into it. Okay. Hey, buddy. 
get your slap fest out of the way, I get it. I can get fire if I want. I might need an ability. Okay, that's fine. Now, what's a good ability for this? Let's just check the early stage here. I might be able to grab something. Do, do, do. We got stone. Pop. What else do we get? Double stone is not really needed. But it can be helpful. Oops. I guess that's something I'll have to keep an eye on, too. Just because I'm in... Not exactly the outskirts of the town, but it's far enough away that I might have to worry about teenagers more than just drunks. Ah, uh, stone and cutter is good, but not good for this. Sorry, buddy. You can go down. Up. But thankfully it shouldn't be too big of an issue, at least not this year. Because I think with the combination of a very, very early summer with COVID still going on, there will be people who are be out and about, but it won't be like super widespread, I don't think. Kirby, please grab that. Thank you. But this is also the people who don't work in the office, so I'll have to come up with some defense measures just to make sure that I'm keeping safe. There. Really? Okay. Secret star. Give me. But I guess we'll have to see. The town changes a lot, but it is filled with a lot of older generation folk. A mm, little bit past boomers, to be honest with you, but... What is the generation before the boomers? That's a good question, actually. Pop. You can go away. Ow. Okay, well, we lost stone. <laughs> Thanks to that jerk. And you don't even give a needle or anything, do you? No, oh, there goes the food. That's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, Birdie doesn't give me anything either. No wing in this game, sadly. You can come here. Something I will probably try to incorporate more into the summer stuff is I'll probably go on more night walks. Oh, that's not good. I'll probably end up going on more night walks just because when I did go on one last night, it was honestly kind of nice. It's a good reminder that nothing is open in this area that late at night, but it's at least nice to go on a nice, quiet walk when there's not too much activity going on. Oh. I came in here for an ability, too. Whop. Oh. Whop. Oh, hello. Came by pretty quick at me, buddy. Oh god, momentum. Oh. No, that's just lost health. That's fine. And fire buddy with spear boys, so none of this is useful. Oh. Whop. Ow. Jesus. I can't even eat their spears. Come on. Waddle Dee didn't die for this. There we go. That does break it. Okay, good to know. Pop. Only a couple more. Which I probably could have gotten by now. Oh well. That's fine. Although we're still kind of failing on finding an ability to use for that boss. Patience, Jude. Patience is a virtue. There we go. Whop. Oh well, you can just die to the fact of suck. You can't get an ability here, from what I recall. Just a lot of these guys. Can I not eat them? 
They're on a single strand, my dude. No, okay. That's fine. Apparently a spider silk is strong enough that they can dangle on one and Kirby cannot eat them. Which, I mean, good defense mechanism at least. Kirby eating you is honestly the worst thing that can happen in any good universe. Oh, Jesus. This one will fall. This one won't. This one will. Oh, Jesus. Physics. There we go. Hey, and Vince Candy. We'll take that. You don't give an ability. Rock. Oh god. Eesh. Okay. Maybe this isn't the best place of getting it. I mean, there's a whole universe inside Kirby. You might land in a life's place. I mean, technically, yes, that's true. But might is the key word in that. You might land in a good place. There's an entire universe inside there that does not guarantee that every place within Kirby is going to be sunshine and rainbows. Because we do need to keep in mind the Eldritch Gods that Kirby ends up fighting on a daily basis, and how that has to come from somewhere, and why everybody wants to kill him. What? I can only imagine in at least three sections of his body, there's going to at least be the Care Bears? Yeah, the Care Bears. Those are clearly the most evil thing in the universe. Womp. Hello, angry mosquito friend. Oh, God. Dude, please. Love of God. Okay. Not here. What's a good ability for this? Ice is honestly a good ability for this, but... Bomb would also be fine. Hey, there. Rock can go away. I kind of want Bomb and Cutter. Hop, hop, hop. Hi there. Well, there's Cutter. Which I'm not going to get. That's fine. I do have to wonder, though, if scientists within the Kirby universe, like within the Kirby's inside universe, if they're still trying to find the secrets as to whether or not their universe exists in a neutral plane or not, or if they are trying to figure out why the outside of space is just pink. Like, you've got the entire sky dotted with stars, but then there's just this weird faint pink layer just looming ominously in the distance. And I wonder if the Kirby scientists have figured that out yet. Up. Because, I mean, you never know. All things considered, they could have smarter people in that universe than our world. Those guys just eat you. That's fine. Yeah, the... oh. Uh... Yeah, I don't think the power grid can handle this so much. Or at least mine can't. Kind of getting a little bit worried for the light flickering, but there's not much I can really do about that. Cutter and ice. That's not good for this boss. Sorry, buddy. Cutter and rock is good, just not for the specific boss. Whomp. Toot. Hello, Fwog. Okay, it's not literally just my AC. It's everything. Hmm. That's worrying, actually. Because if the entire power grid is failing that hard, and all I'm doing is running my computer now... No. Nope. Come here. Hmm. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I guess technically my work computer is also technically running, but... It's not doing anything. Oot. There we go. Oh well, we'll play it by ear. I might just turn that light off if anything happens, because I don't want it to like burn out by accident. Oh. 
Oh, that's bad. Up. Almost there. One more. This is just a very, very convenient ability at the end of the day. Oh, no, this is just run and gun. Okay. Hello, sir. Oh, now we have to fight him. Okay. Up. My frames are ridiculous. Ow. There we go. Bye-bye, buddy. Just sentient lava controlled by the magic crystals. Good work, buddy. Now let's see what you can do, Kerbo. Because we're getting close to the last few sections. Last few sections of the game, yes. Last few sections. Well, get Adeline in there, get Kirby, and come on, Waddle. Bop. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that they just made the Waddle Dees be friends. Also, welcome to Earth. <laughs> I think it's mildly obvious that, uh, the Kirby universe doesn't necessarily care about humans all that much. <laughs> this was kind of the first instance of... By the way, Kirby's universe does exist within it to our own timeline. It just doesn't exist with us in it. Bob. But this is why I also just like Kirby lore, because they don't necessarily expect them to start pulling shit like that. Where it's just, oh, hey, Shiver, so god, I see Africa. <laughs> and it just works well, because it both works as a ch game for children, but also, oh god, this is a post-apocalyptic Earth that fell to an ice age. <laughs> Kids don't need to know that. The adults can know that, no? Pop. Pop. Let's see... Oh, hey, nice, I did hit you. Goodbye, Mr. Penguin. Now, I'll have to see... Oh, sorry, Mr. Mole, I wasn't paying attention. We'll have to see on what the puzzle solutions are for this, but... It shouldn't be too bad. Oh, you're a dive bomb bird. Hello, Mr. Dive Bomb Bird. One of the reasons why I've liked the Muppet movies, they were written for two audiences. <laughs> oh, that's true, isn't it? Most of the Muppet stuff just tends to be there. Both entertaining for children, but then also, by the way, Miss Piggy and Kermit are fucking. Pop. Ooh, cake. Nice. Pop. Although that does kind of raise the question on Miss Kermit and Miss Piggy's relationship, now I'm thinking on it. Because Miss Piggy is an actress, is she not? Um, nothing. Okay. Your spawning locations are super weird. Okay. Hmm. Something else that comes to mind, actually, and I'm thinking on it. If there is a storm coming, like what Kuma mentioned, that would also fuck with the power grids in my area. Which means I'm gonna have to just be careful about an oncoming storm. Eesh. Okay, wombo combos are never good, but we deal with them. That's why I run on batteries, but I kind of just need to recharge mine at night for about four hours a night, roughly. Sometimes I get less, sometimes I get more. Doesn't make too much of a difference as long as the batteries still work. Oh. Hi there. I guess we're jumping. Up. Let's 
see here. Get rid of you. Oh, shit. A little bit too late. Up. Mr. Boar. Not a bit more food. Yep, right decision. <laughs> Let's see here. A lot of ice here, too. Would love to grab that. Pop. And now we're just freeform, because we can't jump over that, apparently. Alright, that's fine. What am I fighting? Also, what is that? Do I need double ice for that? Hmm. Or is this more a thought experiment of, hey, by the way, you should probably have fire here? Hmm. Ow. Mr. Big Iceman, I need you to stop, please. And pop. Mr. Bird. I'm coming. Ow. So that does leave it up there. But you do need fire to just get rid of it. Okay. Note to self. Go grab fire. I can probably grab it quickest from here. Oh, Jesus. Actually, one second. I'm getting a lot of texts. <laughs> da, da, da. Happy May 2-4. Be safe, all. It'll... What's this one? Do, do, do. We lost Power Storm. Oh dear. Okay. Are they from your country's weather service? <laughs> no, this is just family talking. All the other toasters and fridges out there. Just letting me know that the oncoming storm kind of caused some problems. Uh, happy long weekend. Oh, also, Victoria Day does have its own little ins and outs, but when we say May 2-4, we do very much mean May 2-4. So... When we say be safe, it's mostly just try and look out for the people who are smoking far too much pot for their own enjoyment this weekend. Not that that's a bad thing, it's a good time too. But people go crazy for this weekend. It's a good weekend to just kind of take off. A long weekend. Uh, we lost internet here, but the lights have been flickering a good chunk. Yesterday. Here. There we go. Alright, so I need double fire. No. These guys get fire, if one recall. Well. Come on. Oh, crap. Well. Give me a fire, buddy. Mm. There we go. Taking that. <laughs> there we go. Now what is that? Copy. Okay. Where sometimes my phone just vibrates more than I'd like it to. There we go. Hey, Mr. Bomb, buddy. Okay. The only real problem with this ability is that it doesn't necessarily let you choose when you stop. Which is a bit of a problem. Oh. Well. 
So I can't obviously show my controller inputs for a GameCube controller connected to the Wii, but just trust me, when you set a path with this, you have to just go for it, which is why that happens. <laughs> because you can't, like, get out of that at all. Which means I lost fire, too. Fuck. Um... Let's see if I can get away with bomb. Uh, bomb and needle. Bomb should be fine, because all it is is an ice chunk, right? It's not requiring fire. And we have fire here in case we need it. What does bomb and fire do? Ah, fireworks. You know what? I'm fine with fireworks. Because fireworks is by far one of the better movement abilities in this game. As well as the better damaging abilities, considering how wide the hitbox on this is. Bop. Because honestly, like, the hitbox isn't even read out by where the sparklers are. It honestly just hits farther than that, and it's honestly a little bit broken, but this entire game is meant to be enjoyed by, like, three-year-olds, so I'm not going to fault it for its game balance too hard. Oh, it didn't actually kill you. Okay. I guess the upper limit was there. Hi, birdie. And I'm assuming this is the sled race? No, sled race is next. Okay. That's fine. Get rid of all of you. Don't need the cake. I'll just leave it there for now. Can't climb a ladder with that, huh? Okay, I guess you are kind of just free-falling, so it makes some sense. Do -do -do. Up you go, little fluff ball. Oh, come on. I didn't even not go that far. Oh, that's fine. Now we get sled race. Right? Yeah, there it is. Let's see here. Oh, I guess I probably should check the weather district, shouldn't I? Just to see as to whether or not the power will go off. The risk is there that I could try to run it off my internal battery, but I don't think that would work very well. So it's usually an option I leave for super, super dire circumstances. But, you know that. Yeah, I guess if the power goes out, then there's not much I can do about that, aside from just kind of being like, hey, by the way, I guess I should make sure my phone's charged, though. Up. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, that's good enough. I'm assuming it was either fire or bomb of some kind. Don't fully know what the combo is. There we go. Also, yes, this ability is broken, and I kind of love it for that. Pop. Now, well, I need to go under the water. I don't think so. May as well just keep this. It's fun. Oh, no, you can go under the water. I guess there are reasons to go under the water. Sure, I'll keep an eye out. Like that. Hello. Come on, get in there. Come on, Kirby. You can do it. Oh, I can still use that underwater. Oh, that's the downside. Okay, gotcha. And nothing here? Looks like nothing here. Okay. I'm not seeing any protective barrier or anything either, so... Don't gotta worry about that. In we go. Keep it going, Kirby. You've got a world to save and some ice cream to eat. This is also an opening, so I'll take that. And that's a new enemy type. What are you all about? I guess dying. Good enough. Didn't have to worry too much about finding it, at least. But, yeah, you would have no direct visual, so 
you kind of just need to take the context clues to be like, oh, hey, by the way, you can go under the ice in places. Ow. There we go. Much better. Now, I wonder if something I could do for content in the future. I'm not sure if it would work as streaming content, though. I could do readings of some of the light novels I've been meaning to go through. Because if I'm doing it to someone, then we could discuss it, but I'm pretty sure that would be functional copyright infringement, right? For reading a book on stream? I don't fully know about that. Bop, bop. I guess it would be easier to just write your own book. That would make more sense. Pop. Reading a book is probably better safe for things like Patreon. I think. Ow. Sir. Please, we don't need a rock to the face. Up, up, up. And this is danger. I see you this time, so don't worry about it. And then you can also go away. Oh, that's a different model. Hello. Let's see. Secret message. Hey, we got it this time. Cool. <laughs> God, I am so bad. Next level. Ooh. This is a jam. Okay. Pop. Oh. Uh, there's something over there. Hold on. I guess we're going into the clouds. Who needs to go have the snow come to them when you can go to the snow? Pop. Okay, just a singular star. That's fine. Pop. Alrighty, so what do we got in the clouds today? Am I gonna meet Thor by chance? Can I meet the sun deity? And nothing? Okay, never hurts to check. Now let's see, what else do we got over here? I guess I hint that you can go under the clouds, but... They kind of need to provide some visual aid in order to find the crystal shards, so... I'm gonna have to put my faith in these at some point just to see where it is. Oh. Nope, speaking of. Hello. There's a good amount of art that I should be practicing a bit, because I've been trying to redesign my one mute character. So I believe I've renamed to Katone. And I'm trying to think of the best way of kind of dealing with her, just because she used to be a singer until a quote-unquote accident happened, which prevented her from singing any further, but this happened when she was younger. So, she did get end up being teased about it because she would have been a child with a bunch of other children who don't necessarily have any morals. Whoops. So, as a countermeasure to the bullying she ended up receiving, she ended up training into personal fitness, so that way she could handle the stress of everything better. So while she can't talk anymore, she does have the capacity to do physical fitness things, which I'm not sure if I'd want to do rock climbing or some form of martial arts or whatever is possible. Oh, we get choices, do we? Okay. Choices are fine. I'm going to assume straight up is bad, so I'm not going to worry about that. 
Let's just collect everything here first to be safe. Well, here. There it is. <laughs> okay, I figured it wasn't going to be the one on the sandwich, but never hurts to check. Alright, now we can go up. Oh. Sneaky place to hide it, but honestly it could be worse. And so far, no guaranteed ability requirements. That's also good. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's the cloud cover. <laughs> One second, I'm gonna open up my shades just so I can see this. That's looking like a bad storm. The fact that it's actually picking up on smell, too, is kind of an issue. Up. Give me that. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Oh. Gotta remember to be careful with fireworks here, if only because... You can just fall to your death immediately if you're not careful. Needle. Hello. Mm. Now where are you hiding, last gem? Just trying to keep an eye out for it, really. But it shouldn't be too bad. Oh. Nope. There we go. Let's see, what was I talking about before I realized the storm was coming? Oh yeah, Duck, Katone's design. Uh, Katone is one of the characters I've had pretty much since the early days of my art, too. So I'm not sure if she would fall under the same category as like, uh, either Zerwin, Mira, or Lucy for you, Solace. But she has been one that I've kind of just fucked with a lot to make work. Because her original starting area, everyone was a beast person like her on a planet where everyone was blessed with a semi-sentient weapon just by random chance. So you didn't necessarily be like, oh, I like swords, so I got a sword. You basically turned 16 and then the world just blessed you with something and you kind of just had to live with it. Oh. You're an enemy. Ah, damn it. There we go. But yeah, she's just been a character that's gone through just a lot of revisions, and I think if I can get her to sync up more to the universe that I'm building with Oroishin, Oroishin, Zoira, and... I never got a proper name for that Lamia, did I? Because I kind of stole her name and gave it to the Dark Elf, but... Whoops. Hello. Well, the fiction I've spun for my character's very concept is an inclusive one. It would be a... Ow. Jerk. Uh, it would be an inclusive one. It would be a chore to think of something that wouldn't fit somewhere in it. Hmm. I guess that's fair. I guess when you're just designing a universe, it can get to be a little bit troublesome, if only because of the fact that I missed something here. I had to have. Oh, now it's here. Which I needed electricity and... What is that? Shit. What is that? Electricity and cutter? No, cutter is green. Electricity and needle. That's it. You can get both of those through here. That's fine. Because when I'm trying to think about it, with the universe I'm trying to think of with Roishin... Well, now Roishin Katone. 
Zoira, and unnamed Lamia. And I guess the other unnamed Lamia, who's more of an astronaut. It's basically just a universe that is technically advanced, but magic does still exist. Otherwise, creatures like Oration couldn't really live in a physical space. Which is always a bit of a hard one to figure out, but I know Tenki's idea of making them an alien race was an interesting one. I'm not sure if I would want to do that way, but it technically would still fly with a high-tech... Oh, I'm just gonna die to the fall, aren't I? No, okay. I'm not sure if I would necessarily want to do something along those lines, if only because it might A, feel like stealing, and B, I feel like I could make magic spin in a modern civilization. In my universe, science and magic are two sides of the same coin, the difference is just point of reference. So it's like, now, trying to get the difference between law school and doctor school then. So that would work out pretty well. I probably could find a way to spin it with the characters in mind, because not all characters who are non-human would have magic. Because, like, Zoira, not Zoira, Unnamed Lamia doesn't have magic. Unnamed Lamia is basically just a half-snake person, so she doesn't exactly have mystical, magical powers relating to fire or ice or anything. Zoira has magic because she's been cursed, but she didn't really have magic before. But only has power because of the Beelzebub curse that she's under right now. I'm gonna have to flesh out that system to make sure how everything can work. Katone's, I'm not 100% certain on yet, because the only magic I've given her in the past is just that ability to summon her weapon. Oh, yeah, there's the financial downpour. Uh, this time, if stream goes out, it's probably power. <laughs> Ow. Let's see, what can I do with Katone? I could still give her a weapon summoning ability, but I might change it from the original weapon that she had. I can leave the Kirby music going, in all honesty, but... Da, da, da. Deviantart? Yeah, I can just find it on here. Let's see. Gallery. Where's my character one? And a stockpile of AA batteries probably would help a little bit, to be completely honest with you. Oh boy. It might honestly just be safer for me to cancel stream if the lights are flickering that hard. Because that is... That is dangerously windy, actually. Let's see if I can show off my old embarrassing art before the stream just dies on me. Where is Connie's original thing? There it is. Copy image address. Can I do... No, I have to do it this way, don't I? Doot, doot. Image. Maybe... no? Desktop. Stream assets. What is that saved as? There we go. There's her super old design. <laughs> and she had these really weird... gauntlets, I want to say? I don't even know what the fuck I was doing back then, to be completely honest with you, but she had something. They functioned like bear claws, but they weren't exactly meant to be like usable, but she made And sorry for the double ping. The sudden storm knocked out 
my internet for a second. Hello there. Am I visible again? <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Thankfully, it was one of the quick and dirty storms, so it's kind of just done and over with already. Let's see, get my mouse off of there. Although, I will have to keep an eye on it, because I'm not 100% sold that it's done yet. Pop. Oh, it means it's going to have to do another one of those early ads, too. Ugh, okay. Also, my default state was really off on the tracking. That's fine. Alright. So, to get back to the previous discussion, poor nature kind of just said, No, Jude, you need to work on your burnout a bit better. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, wait, right, I need that. Uh, that button, that button. I need to go suck on this needle. Much better. Alright, so before Mother Nature so rudely interrupted, uh, with Katone, who was named Kami before, that's how I've named her pretty much throughout the years, but I'm realizing that Kami being the word for God in Japanese probably should stay away from that because she's not a god she's just you know a cute girl trying to do cute things but punching people in the face by accident Whomp. but i guess it'll depend on what sport i can get her into that'll make work for her because she's going to be fit that much is going to be true she won't be a muscle head or anything but she'll be fit She'd be the kind of girl that would probably get up at 6 a.m. to be like, oh, hey, seems like the weather's good outside. I'll just go in shorts and go for a run, kind of fit. Maybe has a specific training session she does during the week, but nothing like super out there. Yeah, there's the ad roll. Okay. Now, where are you? So I guess that's just something I'll have to nail down on what I want to do with her. What about Kame? Which is turtle in Japanese? Hmm. Similar... oh. Okay. Note to self, I'm dumb. Kame technically works as well, because it's the similar sound, but she is meant to be a wolf girl? Although, with her reclusive nature, having turtle would also work. I don't know. Well, I don't know if I can get Needle from anywhere before this boss fight, can I? I'll double check, but I might have to rerun this again. <laughs> oh, that is unfortunate. Nope. Nope, come up here. I don't know. There's some thought processes you can go into naming something, but I kind of like Katone just because it has something to do with music, if I recall correctly. Hi, come here. Oh, come on. Sir, you jump far too high. Give me that. What? Let's see. This is just the fight, isn't it? Yeah, I need Needle before that. Okay. Let's see here. Oh god, the VOD for this is going to be just awful to work with. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll deal with it. At least it's only raining calmly. Or the light flicker more. If the power does flick my computer off one more time, I will just stop stream for the day. And I'll have to just keep an eye out for later today to see if we can actually do the Yudonga stream. Or Yudongen stream. Oh. Kirby. Please. But I don't think this storm lasts a super long time. I believe a sister unit of mine is currently experiencing a problem with her power pretty much being permanently off. And the wind did kind of wreck her home a little bit. But I think it usually calms down when it gets to my area of the wood, so it should be fine, but... Come on. Get up here, Kerbo. Oh, that works. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to keep an eye on it. 
because the light flickering is getting a mite bit annoying, I'll be honest. Up. I just wish I had some way of curbing that, but not really a way I can deal with it, unfortunately. That's just a good indicator that I need to be a little bit careful to not just overload the grid on my side. Womp. 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 Nope. Don't need the food here. Pop. That works. I probably should double check through the Japanese name listings again, but I was just mainly looking through the K's, so it's possible I overlooked one. But Katone just flowed well, just because I figured Tone is in there. Whoops. Tone was in there, it starts with K, and it sounds fairly feminine, so I think it works out relatively well for a rename on her part. It still gives that reference to music, even though Katone in and of itself, I believe, means something else. Let's if I recall correctly. Meaning. Do, do, do. Oh, it is actually just music based. Okay. That's fine. Uh, name of Tone, female name. That means harp, flute, or sound. Music, the sound of koto, traditional Japanese string. <laughs> okay, makes sense. She has the piano, which is kind of the idea, but. Up. Oh. Hey there, Liz. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Apologies I had to leave. Unfortunately, Mother Nature doesn't quite handle things super well on my end. <laughs> and hey there, Nan. Welcome, welcome. You haven't missed too much. Uh, the power went out and the internet died for a bit. That's about as much as you all missed. <laughs> Ay. The world does not want me to stream this weekend, apparently, and I'm not sure if I should take that advice, to be honest with you. Bop. Bop. But how are you two? Hopefully the day is treating you well, and hopefully if you have to deal with a storm, it's not too bad. Womp. Now let's see here. I needed needle and electric for that one puzzle. For that one unlock. So, grabbing that. Could always take a break. Oh, I, I planned to. I was planning to take a break next week. Just, I wanted to do these games first, because these two Saturday games we should be able to beat within the stream time. As long as, you know, I don't have to keep stopping because of the power going out. Bop, bop. And you're just waiting on Payday? Payday is always a bit of a wait, isn't it? Not necessarily the worst kind of wait, though. Because it just means you get to get some stuff going, which is always nice. Any investment plans you get to have fun with, by the way, Liz? Or is it just general food times? Oh. No. Nope. Not a fan of you. Pop. Now let's see. Where are those other little nom nom boys? Ow. I invested in a new monitor. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with investing in a new monitor. And it's a lot? Really? In a good way or a bad way? There we go. Lightning rod. It's 43 inches. That's bigger than my TV, Non. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. I don't think I've had a screen that big for a computer. Half and half. I got to invest in the wife having fun with 14 again. Okay. Well, that's good. Up, up. 14 is always just kind of fun to enjoy with others, so I can definitely understand that. I know I haven't touched it as much lately, just because... Come on, secret. That was way too far. Oh, we got it. Nice. Company paid for half, because it's improvised. 
impro improving my home office. Well, I'm glad the company at least paid half of it because a 40 inch 3 monitor, I'd imagine costs a pretty penny to say the least. <laughs> but how are you enjoying it so far? Because that almost feels like it'd be too much for my kind of work, but I can see it being helpful for some kinds at the end of the day. Can't say I've been too friendly for the Lollafell Collective, but other than that, I do agree. <laughs> well, nothing wrong with that, Liz. I just play Lollafell because they're the stand-in dwarf race, so it just ends up working out a little bit better for me, because I usually just play the dwarves anyways. Hi, you're coming with me. I'm gonna check my body at you. Uh, cutter and bomb. Ow. Nope. Just got it yesterday and I was planning on cleaning my desk, because I really need to clean my desk. I think everyone needs to clean their desk, in all honesty. It's kind of just an unwritten rule that you keep it working for you, but... I don't know if people necessarily take the cleanest care of it. You can go away... Nope, just cut her. I'm looking for an extra bomb to use, friend. Let's see. Food? Okay, I'll take some food. Have I had up this screen that big around me? I think I have, but not for very long. Also, hello, sir. Can I kill you before you drop your rock? Yes, I can, apparently. <laughs> okay, good to know. Oh, there it is. Figured you'd be sneaking on me. Oh, same. Originally was going to swap to Vieta when they first dropped, but... <laughs> the little Popato has grown on me. <laughs> well, Popatos usually do tend to just kind of get you thinking a little bit. I know I used to roleplay as one for a while, just because most of the people in the roleplay community on my side just did not roleplay as a Lollafell, which is just a horrible waste of potential, really. Can I kill the Sawblades? I can kill the Sawblades. Why? That's a Sawblade. Alright, next floor. Probably should get back to those roleplay servers, though, just to let them know I'm not, you know, dead or anything. But it might have been a bit too long now. I don't know, we'll have to see. <laughs> to be fair, Kirby can also kill gods. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, admittedly. Kirby's a good inspiration for Lollafells. And I'm sure there's someone who's named Kirby on some server. Oh. One of them? Oh, I guess the saw blade gives cutter. Okay, that makes sense. Up. I'd have to double check, actually, if anyone on the roleplay servers I know of actually has a Kirby character. Because I'd imagine you could make a Culinarian Lollafell with the kind of stock standard Ginjinka Kirby design that pops out every now and again. And I think that would work relatively easily for a 14 cosplay. Hello. How hard would it actually be to do that? There's enough pink dyes to make it work. Whop. Ooh, this looks like hell. Can I get rid of Spike Boy, or...? I apparently just destroyed Cutter somewhere in there. Okay, that's fine. Shouldn't be too hard. No, it really shouldn't. Because all you need is an innocent little baby boy with a lot of pink. And honestly, there's enough dyeable clothing to make it look like you, you're you wearing pink, but you're not just wearing pink. Oh. Ow. Does really just touching the block do damage to you? That's rude. Although, if you do need a combat class for a roleplay-based Kirby... Uh, needle and bomb. What does needle and bomb do again? Nope. 
So Super Metroid Randomizer added a new custom sprite a bit ago. Ooh, very nice. Oh, what kind of sprite did it end up adding? It's an extremely buff Kirby. Ah, so it's Kerbo. Okay. Honestly, Kerbo is a good sprite to have at the end of the day. Also, what is the challenge with this boss? Okay. Later, boss man. But Kerbo is definitely a pretty unique design, so that works out well. Orange, grape, lemon? Okay. Thank you, Adeline. So, orange... Orange, grape, lemon. Nice. <laughs> well, I'm glad Adeline made it fairly easy. Just post it on general. Alright, thank you. I'll double check that after this stream, which... Still not 100% certain if we'll just go to finish with this one or not. Because we are kind of close to just finishing this game. And with the power outage and the fact that the weather has stabilized, we should be fine to just kind of keep rolling with it. Oh. You know what? I deserve that. That does mean I've lost my ability, though, which kind of sucks. Um, do we have all three of those by now? You can't even check. Ow. Hi. You come with me. Come on. Get you going. Much better. Alright, so note to self. Bookcases can kill you. I'm assuming that's also counted as one. Womp. There is one thing I ended up forgetting. It's still a setup in progress, but thanks to a friend of mine, Dragon Quest X is finally playable in modded English. Was X not available in English before? Huh. It's actually something I don't know much about. Dragon Quest is a series I am curious about, just because I've had a friend... Well, is Sky Bison a friend? Sky Bison is at very least a, a con... Uh, English dude. Acquaintance, because I don't talk with her a ton, but it would be nice to talk with her more. Ten was the MMO? Oh, okay. Yeah, if Ten is an MMO, then... Damn. Well, congrats on your friend for making it work in English. Is that just a fan translation kind of situation, or... Uh... Also, where am I... What is the point of a fish tank? Okay. Let's see. Stone cutter is helpful, but I'll just take that for now. This is suspicious. But that's cake. Give me cake. Pop. There we go. It's now. Cutter and electricity is actually not too bad. Oh, come on. Oh, well. It's machine translated? Oh, okay. Well, nothing too wrong with that. Give me that. There we go. Now we're ready to kick ass. Oh. There we go. Forgot that I can't hover while I have the sword out. Whoop. Hmm. I guess if machine translation has come that far, that is a good thing at least. Because I know there's probably a lot of systems that people just want to have functional for them. Because they've never had the chance to actually use them. I'd imagine for old Japanese only MMOs, that's definitely a constant, but... What other kinds of games would that work with? Didn't have paid an Oni Giri, but there's dwarves and goblins as a choice. I mean, you could be. I guess that depends. How exactly does the Oni? How do exactly do the rice ball races work? Fantasy Star Online 2 was that way for a while. I think they have it set up so you could be fan translated, but anything that wasn't done by hand was done by machine. That makes sense. I do recall hearing about the PSO2 translations, just because I was curious about them, but 
never exactly had the opportunity to play them before the initial New Genesis launch and all that. Oh, that's an L. <laughs> uh, apparently I'm just reading my check too quickly. That's fine. Oh, I've still got the sword. Okay. Ow. Pop. Please give me food. I'm not sure. All I got was physical appearances to go off for now. Well, hopefully I'm able to come down to a decision soon. I'd imagine the Oni is probably a little bit more fun than a dwarf in the Dragon Quest universe, but I could be wrong. Ow. Come on, Kirby. Pop. There we go. Now, what is the significance of this room? Nothing up here, either. Ow. Oh. I definitely missed one. Perfect. Doing a little better with those now. Oh, no, I got all three of them. Huh. Okay. I'm not fine with that. That's actually a good question. What did the Oni look like in that? Didn't go away. Dragon Quest 10 Oni. Oh, the ogres. Okay. <sighs> Makes sense. They're not exactly small by any stretch of the imagination, but they do look very hot. And then the guy ones look like most of your typical Dragon Ball Z villains, so... The girls are at least hot. Let's see. Hopping over here real quick. Thank you. Hmm. I guess then, what got you interested in the Dragon 10 MMO? Because that's not something that comes to mind myself, but I'd imagine with a Dragon Quest MMO, you'd probably have pretty standard... Oh, that's fine. Something fell. Apologies. I'd imagine you have pretty standard classes along the lines of, like, Swordsman, Mage... Debuffer? I know there's some weird stuff you can do with Dragon Age... Dragon Age. With Dragon Quest. Whop. A lot of bombs here. Oh. Well, hi there. How do I get to you? Hmm. I need some way of breaking those. Hmm. That would be Cutter, right? Cutter and Rock? No, not Cutter. Needle and Rock. Always had a love for Dragon Quest as a whole, so when the wife told me there was an MMO, the Ogres were the first race I saw, then came the rest. <laughs> Honestly, that's fair. Let's see. Magman, Shiver. Shiver. Shiver 3. Shiver 4. So have I missed one already? With the shot, so there's a path leading to the blocks. By using stone needle, Kirby can break the blocks and find a crystal shard. Okay. So, it, I am right in crystal, or rock and needle. Can I have gotten rock and needle by this point? Oh, I can get rock. There's one piece. Now I just need to grab needle, but... I may have missed that already. There's a quick place to grab needle. Probably near the beginning of the game. Doot. Doot, doot, doot. Dragon Quest is probably something I should look into as well, because for as much as the RPG love that I do have, Dragon Quest is kind of one of the ones that fell by the wayside. Not necessarily for a wrong reason or anything, just 
I never had the time to really add them into my stock as well as every other RPG that I had at the time. There we go. Ah, drill. Okay, that makes sense. So maybe one of these days I'll keep an eye out for some sales on 11, I believe, is the one on PC. Pretty sure 11 is the one on PC. Geronim... Oh, wait, nope, food. And then that would be a relatively good time. Although I would need to be careful since I haven't actually done the Dragon Quest system before, and I do know that it's not quite Shin Megami Tensei levels of needing to debuff stuff, but debuffing tends to help you a little bit. There we go. No, sir, don't need you. That and just all of the magic names sound very fun. So it's kind of hard to argue against that logic. There we go. So what happens here? Do I just break the blocks? Yeah, I just break the blocks. Okay. Now. There we go. Nothing there. Oh, whoops, I have to go straight through that one. Do do do. Just walking like a boss. Good job, Kirby. Much better. Alright, let's see here. Block that shot. Or not. Okay, good attempt, Kirby. Up. Now let's see here. Oh, DDD. Hi, DDD. We going for a run? Cool. Let's see what DDD can do. Up. Ow. Fine. It's hammer off against hammer off. That's okay. Up. Although I do like the extra accordion sounds on these guys. The fact that they're shaped like toy hammers is just good. Really? But they're probably just made out of up. Oh, okay. I understand where the hit came from, but not cool game. Oh, well, we got our ability-dependent one already, so that's not too bad. Do-do-do. I guess DDD's beak does count as being squishable, and apparently him having his beak squished is enough to kill him, so... Sorry, DDD, I didn't mean to get your beak squished. <laughs> Thank you, Liz, for the head pats. Oops. Get rid of you. Try not to get squished again. Pop. There's a Gordo. Hello. Sadly, DDD can't knock you around in this. Pop. There we go. Now let's see here. Hey, buddy. Hello, electric buddy. And then get rid of you. And I'm assuming there's going to be a shard in here, too, just because usually the DDD subsections usually have one, but I don't fully recall where it is. Hmm. Big Burnus. I need Spark Cutter for that. Okay. Need to make sure to grab Spark Cutter then, so we're not wasting too much time. Ooh. Why is there a hippo being grown in the background? Sir? Sir, are you okay? I guess this is just where all the monsters are developed then? All the random ones that kind of just stick out? That's a bit concerning though. Why were the humans developing that in the past? Pop. Oh, there's Cutter. Kinda need that. Pop. <laughs> Would seem so. Yeah. Definitely just a bit strange, but I guess humans have made worse in the past, so... Can't fault it too much. Here we go. Run, Kirby! And go up. Much better. 
Go to here. Don't need rock. I need electricity, please and thank you. Oh, hey, it's a kitty. Or at least half of a kitty. It's missing all of its limbs, but it is still a kitty. Thankfully, it's still cute, but... Guys, you can at least give it limbs. Like... Oh, there's our electricity. Also a mage thing. Not sure what that's about. Fuck. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Seems to be vibing all the same. Yeah. It's at least having a good vibe, but... There we go. Electricity. I need cutter. I'm just going to go back for it. Pop. Pop. Give me my lightsaber back. Ow. Pop. But that is kind of just a cat in a nutshell, right? You place a cat in a box, even if you did try and put the Da Vinci next to it, it's just going to sit in the box and have fun. So, kitty will vibe no matter what state you leave it in. There we go. Big bird. Hello, big bird. Can I hit you, big bird? Thank you. And a couple more. There we go. There we go. I think I know what they were doing. They were trying to make Monster Rancher for real. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. This kind of would be in that generation when Monster Rancher was kind of taking over the world, isn't it? So I honestly could see humans looking at it and be like, you know what? We can fuse monsters together. Why don't we just take this cat, we'll add a little bit of extra cow, and then we'll have a cat cow, and then it'll work out gloriously. Because then the cat will always have milk. Go. Let's see here. So safe spot is down there. Noted. I think Monster Rancher is also one of the ones I accidentally kind of left alone for a while. I think for Monster Rancher, though, it was just because I was a Nintendo toaster growing up. So it was a little bit hard to catch on to Monster Rancher, which was on the PlayStation consoles most of the time. But there's definitely not much I could have done about that one. Which is a bit of a shame, because Monster Hunter... Sorry. Monster Rancher would probably end over pretty well. But... That one I don't 100% know. Oh, shite. I only managed to cover about 40% of the floor on my way back to the old home. Eesh. Well, sucks that you only got 40%, Nano, but good job nonetheless. And welcome, welcome. Hopefully the day is treating you okay so far. Also, sorry, mouse was on screen. I recommend three to four if you ever get the chance. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for him then. Up. So a safe trip home back, you know. Assuming car or bus. Crap. Crap, I'm dead. Oh, <laughs> that sucks. Oh well. Up. Let's keep it going. Also, what time is it? It's three. We still got time left, but I'll have to see. Ow. Yeah, all the rain and wind is just gone already. That's just the kind of storm this was. Oh well. Bop, bop. <laughs> Karu. Well, nothing wrong with a little bit of Karu. Sometimes you just gotta go fast, 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 and have initial de-blaring at 100% volume on your radio. If it's in your tape deck, even better. Now let's see here. Up we go. Hide in here. Oh, no. Ugh, bad time to yawn. Just switch driver. That's why I can chat. Ow, oh, it's that long of a trip. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. 
Just don't eat up all of your data watching my stream, okay, Nano? Unless you have unlimited data, then, you know, cool. Ah, oh, damn it. Ugh, oh well. Is this the spot where I'm gonna game over? This might be the spot where I just accidentally game over. Oh well. Wop, wop. Yeah, chatting and driving is kind of bad. So is potentially just eating your device, but... Do, do, do. I'm not, I drive and chat. <laughs> I think you may have typoed there, Nano. Possibly, at least. Pop. Drive first priority. Yeah. Driving is very first priority. Because <laughs> you gotta make sure to stay careful on the roads, because it's not necessarily you who is a bad driver. It's everyone else who is also a stupid driver. Because you can guarantee the own teachings that you've gotten for your driving. Can't say the same about Frank from down the street, unfortunately. Womp. So what do I do with this? Because this is a safe spot and then over there is one. Okay. Good enough. Oh, stop flickering on me, lights. We've had enough of this. There we go. Run, Kirby. There we go. Hmm. That floor is familiar, at least. Okay. Let's see then. We should be coming up on whatever it is shortly. Also, yellow star. We got this, which is fun. Kirby gets to vibe as well. Whop. Although it does kind of diminish a little bit when he's not moving, but you can kind of keep it going by stutter stepping if you're careful enough. Whop. There we go. So be careful. There's a cake over there to let you know that there is stuff at the end of the hallways. Hop, hop, hop. That is a sandwich. We'll take it. Ow! Oh, okay, now we're dead. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, that's really unfortunate. Okay. Note to self. Be quicker, Jude. You can come with me. And then you can go into there. Cool. Alright, crusher number one. Hop. Ow. Just run. Do, 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 do. Oh. No, I thought I'd get away with that. I've already gotten that one. Hop. Hop. There it is. Give me that. Nope. And we're dead again. Well, we got the crystal shard at the very least. But wow, the timing on that is annoying. There you go. Just for the sake of the recording of this game. Here's the game over screen for this. <laughs> it definitely doesn't come up a ton, but in situations where crushers are involved, it's kind of hard to avoid. Now let's see how much of that it actually saved for us. Yeah, 83. We're almost there. <laughs> okay, yeah, we just have to get through the level this time. That's fine. We get to enjoy the chilled out factory music, so I'm fine with that. Down, down, down. Nice. <laughs> down, down, down. Don't gotta worry about nothing. Actually, you're fire, aren't you? Come here. Fire can be helpful. Down, down, down into a burning ring of fire. 
There we go. Volcano time. Well, DDD time, but that's also fine. Hey, the DDD. You don't seem to have a mask yet. That's something you should have had by now. Bop. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Level's not too hard, at least, when you're not being super mindful of looking for the crystal shards. There we go. Get rid of you. Plus, I mean, DDD is just fun. Because, yes, he is your sworn rival, but also he's kind of just, you know, that guy down the street who you usually just go and get a drink with. Maybe a milkshake, because you don't like beer very much. I'm not sure if DDD would actually drink beer. And I'm thinking on a little bit deeper. Because, yes, he's a penguin, and yes, he is old enough for it. But would DDD have the same level of sweet tooth that Kirby would have? And kind of just stick it to the milkshake route? And eat the Kirby. Oops. A lot of random tags today. Let's see here. So we've got volcano mode. So this is fine. Up. Also, have I lagged at all? No, I haven't lagged at all. Okay, good. Kind of hard to tell if you get dropped frames with the power flickering, because that's honestly what's grabbing my attention more right now. That's fine, though. He yeeted Kirby. Yeah, Kirby needs to get yeeted occasionally, at least. Because not everyone is willing to give him a free lift. Not without a little bit of suffering. There we go. Goodbye, Mr. Cutterman. And then you can go away. You can especially go away. And you I don't like, but I can't do anything about that. Up. Up. It's too bad Kirby doesn't have the ability to throw himself at enemies. Now that I'm thinking on it. Because Yeeted Kirby would honestly be something they would probably name nowadays, considering Mouthful Kirby is a thing. But I'm trying to think of... Honestly, this is fine for the boss coming up. If they would have a new game where the object of the game is you having a... A helper character, almost. Kind of like the DS era with Mass Attack. Where your main priority is literally just to throw Kirby across the screen for every puzzle imaginable. And I feel like that would just end kind of well, but it would probably get a lot of people within the gaming community be a little bit not cool with the idea of having yeeted Kirby as being a form. Whop. But it would be fun to go alongside the various throws and fighting styles that he has had so far. Just actively chucking himself out there would put a whole new spin on it, I think. Whop. Now let's see if we can get through this factory without getting our face squished in. Do 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 do. Run, Kerbo. Nope. <laughs> Got a little bit greedy there. Okay. Bye bye, rock and fire. I'll deal with this for now. Yeah, unfortunately we're kind of getting to the part of the game where I'll need to be a little bit patient with it. <laughs> I wonder if stream delay is off a little bit. It may not hurt to refresh. Oops. <laughs> Perfect timing. Exactly. I almost... Maybe I should give myself a soundboard at some point. Just so that way I can kind of custom add those in. I don't know. The whole point of all this is just to give people a look at various games that you haven't been able to play yet and just have a good time to just, you know, relax. Apparently my voice can help people relax a little bit, so maybe one of these days I can have an ASMR stream where it's just reading Go the Fuck to Sleep. You have 3G on in the car, the best. Oh, really? 
Well, we'll have to hope that those three Gs can hold you up a little bit better than the four Gs that are working at the local barber shop. Ow. Now, how do I make that part quicker? Like that. Okay. That's good enough. And admittedly, it's mostly just hypocrisy. Oh, no, no. It would be a point of hypocrisy for me to read that book because I don't post my sleeping times to you guys for a reason in Kuma's chat, at least. No, run. I probably should sleep more, is what I'm saying. Oh, later, sirs. Alright, let's see here. Honestly, electricity is not the best ability for this, but... Oops. Just run and save yourself. Ow. Just run. Come on. Run, Kirby. That wasn't even to the crusher. Oh well, we'll at least start at the beginning of this room. Okay. Note to brain. Please be careful. Also, why is my voice going out already? We've only been going for a couple hours now. Ah. Alright. Running. I'll grab that. That's a bit better. Go quicker. Nice. Ow. You. You. Ow. Jerk. Oh, God. Why? That is a rude game. Da 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 da, leaving. Power just took out the voice modulator circuit. Ugh. Yeah, that's kind of what it's sounding like, to be honest with you. Hope the power's stable now. Thankfully it is. It's looking like the storm is gone now, so... Should be a little bit better. Too far. Way too far. <laughs> I wanted to grab the max tomato, but let's see. Oh, this one. Shit. Uh, what's a good one for this? This is one that I usually go bomb cutter for. Can I grab bomb cutter relatively easily? I believe I can grab bomb here relatively easily, but where do I grab cutter? Easily. Or I can just die. That's also a possibility. Oh. oh. Well, there's our cutter. <laughs> now I just need to go find another bomb friend, which... There we go. Not too bad. I just gotta be a little bit careful. We'll take that. And then I probably should heal... Is there a good place to heal? Probably the very first level. They're usually generous here. Up. Let's see. Oh, that almost just killed me. <laughs> oh, that would have been bad. Up. And I'm not 100% certain if this is one of the most powerful abilities. The fact that it's only horizontal is probably the limiting factor for it, but it is helpful. Because you kind of just throw it and it'll hit something. What's that drink Wiggle Jude's drinking? Uh, that would be hot chocolate. Wiggle Jude tends to have hot chocolate nearby because obviously Wiggle Jude is not a robot. Wiggle Jude's just kind of a seal. 
so he needs to make sure to keep warm like the rest of the people in the freezer. But he's at least nice enough to kind of just stay with us while we're here. Up. And thankfully it kind of just keeps refilling itself because of how I have it built up, so... Wiggle Jude's doing just fine. Doot, 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 doot. Shiver Star boss. Alright, let's see here. So, Domo Arigato, Mr. Robato. Oh, well, that didn't work out well. <laughs> well, hot drinks are definitely helpful. Especially... Oh, God. Okay, yeah, right. Bosses are actually we're going to require me to think. Got to remember that. Ow. Up. You also don't give me many hitbox opportunities. Oh, no, we're dead. Hmm. Up. There we go. Get a couple hits in. Hot coffee with a bit of condensed milk is my favorite. That does sound pretty good. Damn it, the laser. Ugh. This man is probably going to take his hot minute because, fair warning, this is just phase one, by the way. <laughs> Oh. That works. This is gonna take a hot minute, though. You go for hot chocolate with some instant coffee in it? I could see that working out pretty well. Yeah. Because you get that basic hot chocolateness with a little bit of caffeine, which kind of just gives you the perk that you need on a nice cold day. Up. Nope. I know usually on my end, I usually just make hot chocolate on its own, but I probably put in a lot more chocolate powder than is recommended. Just because, you know, I'd like my hot chocolate to taste like chocolate if we can get that. Missiles. Ah, damn. Should have jumped. Ow. Okay. One more hit, then we're good. Ow. Sir. Sir. Oh. Yep, there's phase two. Hey, buddy. <laughs> what exactly is the ammo that I get for this? Up. You can come to me. Make your hot chocolate with actual chocolate. That probably would be the smarter decision at the end of the day, wouldn't it? Um, don't know where all that ammo went to, but sure. Hot chocolate with actual chocolate would work out pretty well, all things considered. What? Sir? Do you just have a random butt stomp move that I don't remember about? And I don't think I can eat that. Yeah. Come here. Ah, damn it. Sir, your snippers are a little bit too large. Nope. Okay. Pop. There we go. Got him. <laughs> oh, get fucked, Mr. Robot. Only this toaster can survive on this plane of existence, thank you. 
All right, so make your hot chocolate actual chocolate and add spiced rum. Oh, heck, your stream just went poof? Huh. Are we still good on everyone else's end? Or is it just Nano's end this time? Because I'm not seeing any problems, at the very least. Okay, so it's just Nano's end, then. Shit. Huh. Can you still hear me, Nano? <laughs> Might be just because of Nano's Karji. The lag spike is real. He must have gone under, like, a dead spot or something like that. Oh, right, we're nearly dead. Oh well, that's fine. We might see the game over screen one or two times more, but that's alright. I can still see y'all chatting. Yeah. So you probably can't actually hear what's going on, but... You come here. There we go. Can only deal with so many tech problems, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame, but... Let's see... This will help. Do -do -do. Don't know if you can guard against that. Yeah, I didn't think so. Also, is this just a replay of level 1? This is just a replay of level 1. Okay. Oh boy. Out. There we go. Goodbye, car. Or goodbye, random saw blade friend. Pop. Oh, that was electric. Sorry, Mr. Electric Buddy. I like having a drill. Oh boy. I guess that is something that can be talked about now that I think on it. Because there have been a lot more of the VTubers that I knew when I started. The VOD for this is going to look excessively ugly. I'm going to have to stitch that together. Oh well. Let's just wait for that to click back on. <laughs> Hello again. Jesus. Sorry about that all. I really don't 100% know what's going on. I can understand if like I was running too much juice. But I have my computer on, the Wii on and my work computer on. I don't even have my air conditioning on anymore. I'm barely drawing power, all things considered. Uh, it's just frustrating. I'll have to just go over what else I have plugged in and just unplug other things, I guess. Because I'm barely drawing anything. Power slide to your house dipped in voltage just enough to kill some devices. Yeah, that's probably it, in all honesty, because other people are probably running their ACs as well. Which would 100% do it, and I have no control over that. Oh. oh well, we're finishing this game today. I don't care, we're finishing this goddamn game today. Also, that's a secret we need to uncover. Um, Needle and Bomb? That screams Needle Bomb. Alright, taking that. Oh. Taking that. I just need to find a Needle. Can I find Needle on this side? Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. You are fire. You're not what I'm looking for. Whop. That's electric. Wrong thing. Mm, no. Because that's not... Oh, that is going to let me go through. That's not going to let me go through, though. <laughs> let me in. Oh, well. Needle is available on the first half of this, at least. So. Needle. Bop. Bop. The only problem is getting it. 
Because I need to get it to attack, but not use its shield. Oh well. We'll just do it this way. Shoot. Let's see what we can do before the power flickers again. I guess Needle is just available everywhere here, too, so if I ever screw it up harder. I also have to remember to not go for the Shield Boys, because they are annoying. Pop. I also do like the little play you can do with just poking things and spinning it through the air. That's a good touch. There we go. Needle is helpful against saw blades, which is always good to know. And apologies to anyone who has to gear through the ad. If I could have stopped that, I would have loved to. <laughs> because I feel like I'm playing just unconsciously more ads than normal today because of that. Womp. Womp. Let's see. I just need to get you now, which is a little bit harder than I like. Oh, the Gordo. I keep forgetting this is a power-up. <laughs> but this is a good one, in all honesty. It's not one you come across too often. Pop. <laughs> oh well. You get to be a little spiky boy. It works. Hello. There we go. And probably should get the one up, just in case. Yeah. We're getting close to finishing the game. We kind of just need to go through this block, and then I think one more boss, and then we're good. The Streamlife bot's getting plenty of exercise today. Yeah. Streamlife bot's not going to like me very much today, unfortunately. Oh, I just realized that's going to be pinging you guys the entire time, isn't it? Oh, fuck. I didn't think about that. Um... That's a problem. Up. Hello, meat. Also, hello... Electric pedestal? Or rock? Hmm. Oh, right. The chrome would have been shut down during all of these times. Come back up, buddy. Let's see, the boss, triple star one, we're good on, triple star two. Yeah, only be broken the spark. Okay, that's what I had thought, but try again. We can get spark easily here. Whop. Shit. I actually needed that. Come here. Up. All right, Mr. Witch. I see you in the background, but we're going to deal with you eventually. Hey, Waddle Bro. Coming in for a landing. And I probably should just check, just to make sure we don't miss them going forward. Let's see. After the hallways, the holes. That's not too bad. Third one... The Cutter ability is needed to break the pillar. Okay, so I need to grab Cutter somewhere along the line, but that's not too bad. Doot. Doot. Also, I'm mainly just looking it up because I've had to restart stream twice, and with the lights still flickering, it's probably a good sign that it's probably going to go out again. So, I just want to see if we can get through this quickly, because honestly, if it goes out again, I really don't want to have to deal with it. Um... Pop. I need you to come with me. There we go. Sandwich. Because honestly, this is also probably going to be an indicator as well as to why I would want to cancel the Saturday afternoon streams. Because with more people here with more ACs, if I'm drawing too much power with my computer, then it's probably a good indication that I probably can't stream in the afternoons anymore. Up, oh, thank you, Dithi. Up, 
but we'll have to see. Not 100% certain, but we'll see. Because if the lights are just flickering, and I'm not running my AC, that means everyone else here is. Which is a concern, to say the least. Womp. Give me Samich. It's less that you're drawing too much, and it's the voltage dips when other people do that. Yeah. Which is kind of the issue, because I can't really just walk up to people and be like, Oh, hey, can you, like, not run your AC? I'm trying to stream. Wop. Oh, right, I can't... I can't float while I have this out. Like, trust me, I'd like to, but... Uh... Not everyone is super friendly. I could see a streamer doing that, making content of it. I honestly could as well. It would work well for a, like, live stream reaction to stuff, but... Up. I'm not 100% certain how it would work for, like, a VTuber's end. Because I can't really just have my model voice act something and be like, Oh, hey, by the way, can you pull stop doing this? I'm trying to be a nerd on the internet. Or I'm trying to be an anime girl on the internet. Doop -doo -doo. Give me those stars, please, and thank you. Alright, now is this just a straight shot? That's a straight shot. There's our first star shard. Hello. I'll take that. Admittedly, though, if I was going to be an anime girl on the internet, I would flesh out Zoira's model more. But I need to flesh out a 2.0 Jude before I can finish a 2.0 Zoira. That wouldn't be super fair. Womp. Hello. That works. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Being a professional streamer and leaving cursor on stream is always good. Indens candy. Okay. No, I need ice for that. Does this count? Okay, good. Hmm. Okay, I would have gotten all three by now. Hello, are you an elevator? Yes, you are an elevator. Okay, we'll take that. And then, really, was the elevator needed here? Um, got it. <laughs> cool. At least I'm getting all of these secret files, at least. Next stage. Ooh. Feel that baseline. That is unnecessary, but I love it all the same. Burn needle is needed? Okay. So keep an eye out for burn, for fire and needle. Because that'll be needed. Pop. Pop. Ambush. There's a burn. Nope. Don't care about the bomb. Give me that. There's ice. There's needle. And of course it's on one of the worst enemies to actually get needle from. There we go. Oh, right, I don't like Burn Needle. <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay, well, kinda gotta live with it. Whop. Technically speaking, you can move with Burn Needle, by the way. It doesn't make much sense, but you can. Just, you know, hop about. It works, eventually. Whop. Now let's see here. Samich? Not seeing anything to unlock here, but... Pop. Ow. Okay, noted. Fire does not necessarily count as an active hitbox on me. Pop. Oh, nope. There we go. And a crab. 
Gotta love eating crabs. I don't think people are necessarily fans of having them as pets, though. Whop. Oh. Hi, Mr. Boar. Let's see here. Another one of these rooms. This isn't exactly a huge problem, but... Oh, nice. Actually, it's something else with that. Bop. Give me my kick. Thank you. Nope. There we go. Now, let's see. We need burn needle for something. Like, that looks like it would be it, but... Ah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, lights are flickering again. Ugh. Is there anything I can do from my side about this? Is the main question. I don't know if there is something I can do from my side about this. It might just have to be... Deal with it. We're definitely at least going to finish this game today. I don't know if we'll do the Adongan stream. Because I'll have to test at night to see how bad the electricity consumption is while everyone's ACs are going. But... We'll have to see. Because I'm sure I can get away with the night streams. Because those are usually okay. But why is today so bad? Whoop. Oh, come on. You can hit that thing. I really can't hit that? And get rid of you. Really? Okay. That works. There we go. Oh, Sparky Boy. Hi, Sparky Sparky Boo Man. Welcome to the party. And here should be okay. That's not too shabby. And get rid of you. Perfect. Oh, not done. One more. There we go. Let's see. The fifth ambush room. Okay. So we just have to survive. And Gordo's. What is your plan, Mr. Gordo? Gonna take that. Thank you. I wonder if I can just find another ability in here. Well, none of you are abilities. Neither are you. Up. Time to burn dinner. Alright, sounds good, Solace. Enjoy burning your dinner. There we go. We'll be going for as long as it takes us to finish this, but not sure for how much longer past that. There we go, there's all three. Hi there, TF2 logo. Hopefully your game doesn't crash and burn soon, because people do still like it, but the bot problem has gone a little bit too out there. Oh, nice. Uh, here, and way too far. That was the opposite speed I wanted for that. Yep. We might honestly just finish it here. That wouldn't be too bad. Alright, let's see how I can do against this. Ow. Do, do, do. Oh. Not good. Ice mode. Okay. <laughs> okay. Instant death is fine. Um, what's a good ability for here? That's a good question, actually, because I don't know how much you need to just survive this level. I may as well just go in here blank and see what we can do. Because I'm fairly certain he's... Uh, well, hi there. Taking that. One good hit out. Now, are you an active hitbox like that? Uh, 
Pop. Oh. Why did it ping like that? Okay, so you're dead. Do I have to mirror that? Hold on. Yeah, I have to mirror whatever ability he's using at the time. Okay. Ow. That really ate that. Ow. Hmm. How do I get ice off of you? Like that? Okay. Yeah, that works. Damn it. Okay, that's being too aggressive. Alright, so it's not a good idea to come in here with a power. You kind of just need to mimic him. So, sure. What's your first one? Needle? Okay, well, I'm gonna need to wait on that one, so... Ow. Not an active hitbox. Okay. Ow. Guess I can't do that then. Needle. Yeah, that works too. Nope. Okay, I can't eat those. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Bubbler. Alright, so. Read patterns, reflect stuff back at him. Seems about normal. Ow. Um. Don't think I could get that. Although, I think that was bomb. Nope. There we go. There goes Cutter. And then Ice. Can I grab those? Yep. No. Nope. Okay. Needle. This is fine. Pop. No. Okay. Nice. Oh, I gotta stop taking those hits. There we go. There goes ice. Sparky, sparky man. I just gotta dodge these. No. Nope. <laughs> that was getting way too close. Oh, dude. Okay. I think I should be able to do this. I'm just being aggressive in a dumb way. Including you. Pop. What does this actually give? That gives bomb. Okay. Pop. Nope. Missed that by country mile. Okay. Next is Earth. Okay. Ow. Oh, come on. Really? Well, there's fire. Nope. Damn. There's lightning again. Welcome to the Zap Party, friends. Oh, God. Nope. <laughs> nope, that missed, too. That's a shame. And here's Earth. Hello, Earth. Nope. Ah, damn. There's Zappy Zap. Enjoy your Zappy Zap. Burning. Assuming you're doing vertical. Yeah. 
do your vertical burn. It's fine. There we go. Burning down. Ice. Just a bit of a problem. I don't think I can grab any before he... Yeah, changes back. Cutter. Ow. Nope. 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 <laughs> Oh dear. That's gonna take a couple tries. Alright, Earth. Hello, Earth. Nope. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Okay. Still got one life left, but... Man, that burned through every single life that we had. That is not good. Ow. No, I can't really do anything with that. <laughs> that was a waste. And this is bomb, so just gotta be careful with this one. Ow. Aw, oh, come on. I was close on that one, too. There's Earth. Damn it. Eh, oh well. This final boss is kind of one you just have to chuck yourself at anyways, so that's fine. Up. 99%. <laughs> this is the last thing you gotta do. And this is only the first phase of it. It's mainly the first phases that get me in this game, I guess. It isn't inherently a bad thing, but... Don't like that very much. Cutter. Okay. There we go. There goes Cutter. There's Stone again. I would like to get rid of you if I can, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Oh, you got the four-way. I didn't think you could do four-ways. Oh. Rude. Come on. There goes Earth. Cool. There's Ice. Which I need to grab at least one. There we go. Close. One, two, three. I haven't actually seen you on this life yet, so. Bomb. Okay. Should be fine. Electricity, you're okay. There. Nope. Ah, cheaty bastard. All right, horizontal. That's easy. There we go. Ice. Not too bad, I just need to get one, or that many, I guess. Aww. Also aww. I should have hit at least one of those. Ow. Next phase, zappy zap. Uh, 
Um, okay, well, I'm getting none of those. That's a shame. You're doing the four-way? Needle. Going this way. Okay. You're not done yet. Okay. I figured Needle would be close, but... I'm guessing he's just getting closer to... Just being done done, so... Damn, not getting lucky with that one. Okay. There goes Needle. Now Bomb. Now, can I dodge this a bit better this time? Damn it. Let's see. Ice. Ice, baby. There we go. There goes ice. Bomb. Oh, this is bad. Damn it. Oh, we were doing good that time, too. But practice makes perfect, so let's just keep chucking ourselves at it. Ice is at least one of the easy ones to do. I say missing my shot. Up. Electricity. Up. Ice again. Just wanting to get that one out of the way early, huh? There we go. Ice done. Bomb I really need to get rid of early. Can I just grab your ability by chance? I almost want to just keep this, just so that way we can deal with Bomb. Because it's not super hard to just hit there with Bomb. Oh, no, that's Earth. Okay. Up. Now. Come on. There we go. Screw bomb. <laughs> Whop. Nope. That was a whiff. Alright, electricity. What's a good way to deal with you? Pop. No, okay. We'll need another round with you. That's fine. No, okay. That's fine. Cutter, we haven't seen you yet. At least not on this life. Then this should be... Yeah, that's the dig mode. Ah, damn. Rock. Rock is fine. There we go. That's a good enough strategy for that. Oh, God. A little bit too close, Kirby. There's electricity done. You're doing vertical, which is honestly fine. That's super easy to hit. Ow. Apparently you're easily able to hit me with that, too. Okay, fair enough. Rock. Rock is fine. There we go. Only need one. Needle. This is a good enough position for it. Oh, wow. Needle's still up. Huh. There we go. Cutter's down. So, needle? Yeah. Okay. 
I mean, I'm fine with sticking with Needle for the last bit. There we go. Yay! We defeated the thing. This is definitely the end of the game. It's not like Kirby bosses always have a Phase 2 or Phase 3 to their final bosses. Well, the fairies are back at least, so that's good. And there goes all the darkness. Nice. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Don't think the princess is having a super fun day with that. But, uh, unfortunately, not quite done yet. We at least got that boss done out of the way. But we pull out the magic of our cell phone because Kirby's always had a cell phone. Why do you think the Amazing Mirror is a thing? <laughs> Kirby just needed the minivan, that's all. And now we get the final, final level. Which I'm probably going to keep Needle for if I can, because I like Needle. So let's just see what we can do here. Bop. Get rid of you, little guy. Also good bops for this, but I... Oh. Hi, Waddle. Uh, yeah, we'll go down there. I'm just checking. Thank you, buddy. Oh, Adeline. Hi. You got a tomato for us. Thank you. Oh, I always appreciate getting a free tomato. Now let's see here. Oh. Oh, okay. Thank you, DDD. So, here's the Eldritch God of Crystal Shards. <laughs> you get a unique ability for this, so you don't actually have to worry. You just need to shoot this thing with all the Crystal Shards you've collected. Which, it'll have a weak spot pop up eventually. I just don't call recall what it is. And you can only have, I think, four on screen at a time. Hmm. What is the weak point for this? I'm pretty sure it's just the eye, but I'm not... Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. That did some damage to the artichoke. Oh, well, he's plopping out some stuff. Oh, this is a 3D fight. Okay. I forgot about that. It's not necessarily something you think of when you think of Kirby, but here's a 3D space shooter. Hopefully you have fun with that. It just kind of swaps from 2D to 3D occasionally because the boss itself does keep on the same 3D plane as you. Just opposite, so you just need to stun it, then shoot its halo, and then shoot its vine out. That's not too bad. Honestly, a little bit easier than now, the form that we had before. Up. There we go. And there's the angry green vine. Do do do. Remember to eat your artichokes, kids, or else this can happen. Looks like he doesn't have his halo. Oh, there's the halo. Okay, that didn't take too long. Hey, buddy. Ow. I gotta be careful about the explosions off of those. They can get pretty nasty. Case in point. <laughs> Bye, Kirby. Bye, Kirby and your energy sword. Actually, now I'm seeing it. This is actually an alright method. Because all you gotta do is poke the eye enough so that he just gets stunned like that. And then contact clues tell you to shoot him in the head, although I'm not sure who got that methodology first. Oh. But poor little guy. He keeps getting bonked on the head. Enough so that Mama Artichoke needed to give him a band-aid now. Pay attention to the green fart clouds, dude. 
they'll serve you a little bit better if you do that. There we go. Next phase. Ow. Okay, noted. Too close. Oh, there we go. Get rid of you. And then deal with the artichoke underneath. Almost there. Please don't make me go for another cycle. There we go. <laughs> Cool. And there goes the HUD, too. That's usually a good sign. So, high dark mind, by the way. That's functionally what that is. Dark matter, dark mind, that entire entity just is always stalking Kirby, whether or not he likes it or not. But, oh well. I'd say that works out pretty well. The princess is saved. We all get crystal medals. Although it doesn't really fit Waddle Dee. But they managed to fit it for Kirby. Which is a little bit weird. Oh well. Kirby's the hero. He did a good job. And that's a pretty good game ending screen at the very least. So that works out well. And now we get this music. Because the credits music for Kirby 64 is well earned. And I know there is a specific YouTuber who I believe is Ant Dude who uses this music for pretty much everything he does, which is honestly fair. It's a good tune, and not enough people really remember Crystal Shards. They will now that they're re releasing it on the expansion pass, but nothing wrong with that. Necessarily. The pass itself, I'm not a huge fan of, but oh well, what can you do? So I'm pretty sure that would mean we're done with this game, because I don't think Crystal Shards has a post-game. I could be wrong, though. It's been a minute. And I guess that does actually line up relatively well with stream end time, doesn't it? Only like 40 minutes left compared to normal. And considering we've had three power-offs accidentally... Not too bad. Yeah. I've always liked Kirby 64. It's fun. It reminds me of my childhood just because it was one of the games that I had growing up. Well, I may as well take my glasses off for this. It was one of the games I had growing up at the very least, so it's one that I hold a pretty fond memory of. And it's why I would want this game to just be, like, have a sequel. A sequel for this game would be good, but I'm not sure if we'll ever get one because they tend to stick with one Kirby formula. You had the raid, Z's playing StarCraft 2? Okay. We could go visit Z. I don't mind that. Okay, yeah, no post game for this. That's fine. Oi. Um, actually. Sorry, there is an actual specific cutscene afterwards. I should show that to let you know they're all okay. Oh no, is this just the starting cutscene? Yeah, it's just the starting cutscene. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that works. The doom and gloom of the planet is definitely something that happens, but that's kind of obvious with how the story is told. But did at least want to thank folks for dropping by. We at least got the game done, like I figured. If we didn't have those power outages, honestly, we probably could have just finished this in two hours, but oh well. Raid 2... Read, if I remember how to spell this right. Okay, good, I do remember how to spell that right. Alrighty then. Uh, I will be keeping an eye on the power situation throughout the day. And I will let you know in the Discord as to whether or not the Yudongan X stream will be going. I'm pretty sure we'll still be fine, but you never really know. But for now, thank you everybody for dropping by the freezer. Hopefully you've had a lovely afternoon. And I will talk with you later slash another time. So, for now, have a good one. Bye bye